Hi lovers, Coach Kara here. So I wanted to do this particular video. Um, are women able to lead in relationships? Okay, or something to that effect. <laughs> so what prompted me to do this particular video is I was strolling through my, or scrolling I should say, through my IG feed and I saw a clip of Charleston White. If you're not familiar with him, he's quite popular on YouTube or whatever. And he was talking about how women sh are not leaders. You know, they can't lead in a relationship because all of their decisions are based on emotions and yada, yada, yada. I'll probably post a clip so you can see for yourself and to make your own, you know, analysis. Nature says man is more dominant than woman. Man is physically more stronger than woman. You can't, you can't deny physically. that. Not and, mentally. and mentally. No, they're not. Depends on who you're asking. Okay. Well, well, you go that's, to war then. That's not. That's physical. I that's mean, that's no, no. That's no, mental. Okay, yeah. Because 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 war is not mental. War, you stand in the woods. You war is not physical because you don't really get to see your opponent. You guys are shooting from over no, here. No, it's, it's, it's strategic. Well, women well, have been, Women are 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 going to war. Every but, day. but but women, women, but women. But 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 women they don't get aren't. Drafted. They they enlist uh, for uh, the uh, army. Uh, women women aren't leaders. Women women aren't. They're sergeants. Women women aren't analytical, right? That's not true. That is that 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 is true. That's why women are nurturers and men are hunters. That's why when God created man and woman, mm -hmm. one have a emotional makeup and one have a analytical makeup. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because when you ask a man, hey, how do you feel about this? What is he going to do? A man, if you ask a man, how does he feel? He's going to tell you what he thinks. You ask a woman what she thinks, she's going to tell you how she feels. Okay. Why? All because right. one is a nurturer right, and right. one is a natural born <laughs> hunter. You so mean, one is a thinker, an analytic, uh -huh. he's strategic. A woman feels. But don't you feel, don't. Here's what I have to say about this particular clip. All right. Firstly, any male or female can be a leader. Leadership qualities, however, do not pertain to every male or female species. And why is that? Well, certain qualities are required to lead in any kind of scenario. So in relation to relationships, one must possess certain qualities and those particular qualities can apply to either a male or female regardless if this individual is an emotional creature or not now i, I get what he's saying that you know basing your decisions upon your emotions is not the best thing to do i really feel that one should apply a whole lot of logic, at least 75% logic in there with a tad bit of emotion when it comes to your relationships. Okay, so we don't want everything to be solely logical and, and based upon rationale. No, that just, that really doesn't make sense. I mean, there's no, that, that wasn't a heartfelt uh, decision, right? So here's the thing, when it comes to being a leadership, a leader in a relationship, Females, believe it or not, are actually leading relationship. And why is that? And I think he may have an issue with this because it's ever so prevalent right now. It is because men are, a lot of men, not all, but many men are simply incapable of providing leadership abilities. I, for example, allow me to be candid with you guys. When I was in that 10 plus relationship with that last guy, it ended because he was incapable of showing me leadership qualities, making positive and, and the best deci wise decisions, you know? And because of that, after, you know, years of being supportive and trying to encourage and, and saw that was going nowhere, I had to leave that alone. And that right there, that decision was based solely upon logic it had very little to do with my emotions granted i'm gonna always love you the heart is considered a muscle muscles have memory okay so whatever that feels that i had during that time is 
probably will always be there. But at the same time, I have to look out for my best interest. And this is where I am now because I made a solid decision, an executive decision based upon logic and what actually makes sense. So, I mean, I wish, I wish Hillary, Hillary Clinton can get a hold of this clip. She would eat him up. Okay. <laughs> she is a bona fide leader. And, and the, and the girl, the young lady who, who was doing the interview, she obviously is not. And I can tell that because any woman who has leadership qualities would have immediately spoke up so much so he would have been shut down immediately. She would have shut him down. But I can tell she's more of a submissive type, uh, a yes, yes, yes type person, whereas I'm not. I, I am wholeheartedly a leader. I make analytical decisions, which is why I'm doing what I'm doing now. If it doesn't make sense to me outside of the emotions, then I find a way for it to make sense, okay? So I, I think his statement is, is so far-fetched just to say that women are incapable of leading. Okay, having said that, now, just because a female is capable of leading a relationship or anything for that matter, doesn't necessarily mean that she should. Did I feel good about having to make all of the decisions or most of the decisions in that relationship? Hell no. I wish I had someone who could come to me and say, hey, babe, we're going to do this for our vacation. Yada, yada, yada. I got that. Hey, thumbs up. Sounds good to me. Just run it by me so I can make sure everything looks good and it sounds good. Done. Oh, that's one less thing I have to think about. One less thing I have to do. So I would rather have someone with great leadership qualities. And, and here's the thing, in order to, I just want to throw this out here quickly. In order for any type of leader to have um, a successful lead in whatever it is, look, you must always be coherent. You must be in the state of mind and position to make decisions, meaning not relying upon when you get into your feels and believe it or not, men are far more emotional. I would say not emotional, but more sensitive than women. And many of them, well, in order to make that kind of go away or to mask their feels because they don't know how to express them, well, many of them, they turn to substance abuse, alcoholism, okay? And in order to make good and positive decisions in your relationships, you must be coherent. You must be able to express yourself. Meaning not only are you mentally intelligent, but you also have emotional intelligence. You know, to articulate what it is that you feel so that you don't find yourself at the bottom of a 40, you understand? Or with a needle in your arm trying to cope. So in order to make a decision, there are certain qualities that need, that one has to attain, okay? So it's, it's a lot more than emotions and all that because at the end of the day, we all have emotions. Not everyone taps into their emotions when they make decisions, okay? There's black, white, and gray areas. And you kind of have to, I'm analytical, so I want to sift through all of them just, just so I can make it all make sense. All right? So, yeah, I was quite offended by that because I know many women out there who are leading, not in just their homes, but professionally, and you, you kind of don't really don't want to, you know? It's not that we're not built for it. It's just that, well... Why would I want to do all of that, make all those decisions when someone else can use their brain to do it for me, you know? Yeah, so just wanted to share that video with you guys. Um, ladies, let me know what you think. Have you ever been in a relationship or a position to where you feel like you had to be the dominant partner, you had to be the decider in, in most everything? And, as a result, you end up by yourself and you become that whole big boss chick 
unintentionally or maybe it's the opposite for you i don't know um yeah so just feel free to let me know your thoughts fellas i'd love to hear from you as well nevertheless i thank you guys for joining me always that is all for now until next time